One of the most important pieces of equipment for a winter steelhead angler, and it's often neglected, is a good pair of polarized glasses. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I've learned about polarized glasses for purposes of winter steelhead fishing. I'm gonna share with you the models that I currently use and the benefits of each. So let's get into it. When I first got serious about winter steelhead fishing, I quickly learned that the dark gray lenses of the sunglasses I'd wear like in the summertime just weren't gonna cut it in the winter. When the days are shorter, it's cloudy, oftentimes raining or snowing. So I learned the color that you want is amber, brown, or bronze. They're all similar in color, but it's a much lighter tint. In my opinion, you should be wearing glasses all the time while you're on the river for a couple reasons. Whether you're wading or drift boating, being able to see the riverbed is very important for safety reasons, being able to see those obstructions, boulders, limbs, things like that. Not to mention being able to see the riverbed to be able to find out where the fish are laying. And secondly, and probably most importantly, is they protect your eyes from projectiles. A number of years ago, I had hooked this steelhead on a number four spinner, and that was back when I was using treble hooks. I had fought it to about 15 feet in front of me, and that fish jumped with my rod loaded and shook that spinner, and it came back and hit me between the eyes before I had any time to react. And I was certainly glad I was wearing glasses, because otherwise I probably would have had a treble hook right in the eyeball. So I've laid out my fishing glasses so you can kind of see they're all different levels of tint. Now I'm going to give you just a quick class on visible light transmittance, also known as VLT. VLT is the amount of light a lens allows through to your eye. So perfectly clear lenses would be 100% VLT, and lenses that were spray painted black would be 0% because no light would be coming through. So on this end, like my gray Oakleys over here, those are about 10% VLT, so 90% of light's filtered out. My lightest glasses are my Smiths right here. They're 33% VLT. Those are glasses I'd be wearing on a cloudy, rainy day, so only 67% of light is filtered out, so I can still see quite well. Kind of in between, I've got some Oakleys that are bronze. They're 22% VLT, so 78% of light's filtered out. Also the Costas, they're 25% VLT, so they're still fairly light, so 75% is filtered out. And on those bright winter days, you'll see me wearing these Oakleys that are Fire Iridium. They're 14% VLT, so 86% of light is taken out. So you can see, depending on the different weather conditions, that's when I decide which glasses I'm gonna wear on a particular day. So now let's go over the different models. I'll share with you the specs and benefits of each pair, and I'll put links in the description field below if you wanna check out current pricing and availability. So starting out with probably my favorite pair of sunglasses are the Oakley Flak Jacket XLJs. These are the Fire Iridium lenses. They're 14% VLT. So these are the glasses that I'll be wearing on those bright and sunny days. They also have a 22% version. It's a bronze lens and they're interchangeable with these particular glasses. So you can just snap the lenses out to replace them. What I like about the XLJ is there's a lot of airflow on the sides, but they still offer pretty good protection. And the thing about airflow that's important to me in winter fishing is you don't want your lenses to get fogged up in the cold conditions. So these are probably my favorite pair. They're MSRP about 244 bucks, but I didn't pay that kind of money. You can usually find them on some sort of sale. On the other end of the spectrum, my lightest glasses are Smith Reddings. They have a 33% VLT. They also make what's called the Castaway, and there's a similar pair called Guide's Choice, if I remember correctly. Again, 33% VLT, so very light. I'm assuming you could probably even see my eyeballs through, the, through these lenses, but I really like wearing these on those dark and dreary days, and they just don't fog up. They're glass lenses, there's plenty of airflow. They're $259, so that's kind of spendy. I know both of these models are $259, but I can tell you I didn't pay that much for either pair. You usually can find them on sale. I got these for $175 last year, and since then I've seen them for even less. So lastly, these are Costa. These are 25% Tuna Alleys. The lens tint is called Sunrise Silver Mirror, 
and I really like the lens color, but the problem with these glasses for me is they fit my face just a little bit too tightly. There's not enough airflow, so they kind of fog up. So I tend to end up pulling them out kind of like this, just so that they don't fog up on those cold mornings. David's been wearing them. He's had a little bit better luck than I have with them, but they just don't work for me quite as, as well as some of the other models, but they're an option. They're $214 MSRP for the plastic lens, and I think the glass lens is just a little bit more than that. Now, again, you don't have to spend this kind of money on these glasses. Before I started this video, I looked on Amazon. They have amber polarized glasses starting at about 15 or 16 bucks and going up to 35 to 40 for the less expensive models. I'm not gonna put any links down below because I have no experience with them and I don't like to recommend products that I haven't used myself. But again, the links for all of these glasses will be down in the description field below if you wanna check them out. Well, I hope this video has been helpful, and as a reminder, I dedicate the entire month of December to winter steelhead fishing. I post new fishing videos every Friday at 6 p.m., plus gear and tip videos like this one in between the Fridays. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment field below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit the bell so you don't miss future videos. If I earned it, give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out on YouTube. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.